Hi guys, this is Valtra Atmo of the Pino development team. Today I'm going to show you how you can further customize the look and feel of your Pino site. Show you how to change the header for example, or show you where to change the, uh, the logo. But also I'll show you how to add items to the left menu, which is a, a question we get asked a lot. So if you go to administration, manage display settings, here you see some uh, settings, for example here the logo. So by default it uses the Opinio logo, but if you uncheck this box, it allows you to upload a new file uh, that will replace the Opinio, Opinio logo. Note that it does not resize your logo, so you have to give something that will fit inside the header. Uh, same goes for the shortcut icon, so that's the icon you see here in my uh, browser tab. So here as well you can upload a new one. Just going to use the defaults for now. And you can also use another image for the header. Let me show you this one. This is the easiest. Uh, let me use this beautiful image here. So if I save now, boom, here you see it replaced the header with my new image. Um, another question we get asked a lot is how do I add stuff to this left menu? Well first, uh, still under appearance settings, you want to make sure that on the menu settings here at the bottom, the main menu source is set to main menu or any other menu you wish. In older versions of Opinio it was set to none by default, so make sure you have main menu selected. <coughs> and now if you are logged in as an administrator user, you have this black menu at the top. So if you go to structure, menus, main menu, here you see the different items that represent the left hand menu. And if I add a new link, for example, let me say I want users to redirect to Google. So it will be set here. Now one important thing is that you need to give it uh, either a CSS ID or a CSS class so that we can give it some styles. Let me just give it an ID of Google and save. So here you see I have a new item in my menu but currently it doesn't have any icon. If you go back to administration and manage display settings at the very bottom so this is a bit more advanced, but here you have CSS override. What this gives you is it gives you a CSS editor. It will allow you to change uh, specific aspects of the site um, however you see fit. Uh, obviously we need to provide an icon for this menu link first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the calendar icon of the Opinio Platon theme. And I'm going to use it for Google here. We'll just pretend that it's a different icon. So if I go to my Opinio root, uh, to profiles, Opinio LMS, themes, Platon, and then the IMG folder. So these are all the images that ship with uh, Opinio by default. So here you have the menu icons, main navigation, calendar icon. You have two variants. One is the active and one is the inactive state. So if now I go back to my opinion and let me go to sites default files. Oh, I see you already have them here, but let me just copy them again. So now in my sites default files, I have these two uh, icon. And now if I go back here, remember I gave it a Google CSS ID. So now if I target Google, a, because we are targeting the link, because Google is the wrapper that's around the actual link that you, I'm hovering over. And I set background image to a URL. And now I want to target uh, my file. So I want to make it an absolute path. So I started with a forward slash. If your site is at like www.example.com, you should put sites default files 
and then let me just get the name so this is if you copied it in the same location as I did however myself I'm a local host here and I'm in a subfolder called Opinion so I need to add this to my path for it to be an absolute path now if I save this boom you see that here it uses the new icon I ever note that if I hover over it it doesn't use the, the other state the white icon so for me to use the white icon I go back to my CSS overrides I just copy this paste it the other file is called active so I remove the in and I'm gonna use it for the hover state of my link but also for the active state so if I save it now you'll see that now if I hover it uses the white icon so this is how you can add new items to your menu let me also just specify that if you're not familiar with the way Drupal handles menus is that in this interface you can just drag and drop so say I want it to be the second one in the list I just put it here. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more information. Bye.